Okay, friends. Great. I think we are live on YouTube. So welcome again, dear friends. A warm welcome. Today we have a very short session on tips for high altitude trekking. This is especially for Yeah, I just wanted to mute it. Okay, this is especially for Kailash Mansarovar 2023 as we are preparing. Uh, we need to know a few things. So we will be covering uh, layer clothing. We will understand what is layer clothing. Uh, we will get into some altitude tips. How can we beat the altitude? How can we uh, prepare ourselves better and, you know, here and there also? We'll talk about packing when we are going in high altitude, what kind of packing we'll be doing, what kind of snacks, foods that are good to eat. And the end, we will have some question answers. Okay, friends. So we'll start with the layering. Okay. So what is layering? It's very important when we are going in high altitude uh, to understand layering. So the first layer, what we put in the body, need to be warm and it need to stick to the body. Okay. So generally what we do is we wear thermals. So I'm going to show you uh, live so that you understand it. Okay. So these are like, you see, they are uh, like very warm, stretchable. These are thermals. Okay. And when you wear them, they just stick to your body. So this is the first layer that you can be using. Uh, also, we need to understand where we, when we are in Kailash Mansarovar, Parikrama especially, uh, there won't be any scope for having a lot of bath. Okay. So a good idea is to carry some powder. Any talcum powder is good just to put powder and just wear the thermal layer. Okay. So you need two pieces of them. Uh, this is the, uh, the lower portion. And I want to show you the fabric also. Right. See, the, it's very stretchable. And these are like very high quality, good quality uh, thermals I have. So this is the first layer, okay? This is the first layer that goes. So you wear it and it sticks to your body, keep you warm. The second layer you want may want to have like any kind of uh, T-shirt, okay? This kind of T-shirt, any T-shirt. Because what happens uh, in those places, sometimes the sun comes out very hot and then you feel like removing everything. and uh, it is not advisable to be on a t-shirt in those, though, how much ever warm it is, but you need to have your some base layer and then like a t-shirt, you can just open your zip. So I will be showing you what is the third layer. So you can use these kind of T, you know, these, these are like, uh, again, very stretchable and uh, quick dry. You can use this kind of t-shirt. Now, after that goes, uh, it's it's called fleece, the fleece layer. So uh, the fleece layer is um, something that keeps you warm. Uh, you know, it's a uh, uh, see the thing in um, altitude is about how many layers you will be wearing. It's not about you know just wearing one jacket and you feel warm. It's not like that. In those terrains, especially we are talking fifty thousand feet and above. You know those kind of climates. It's always good to be on layers, even like thin and light. Uh, we also need to remember it, it should be light because you will be also walking. If it's not light, then the walking becomes very hard. So you see, this is this kind of fleece. Uh, it's a very high quality, uh, good quality fleece that I have picked up. And I have done uh, my shopping from Decathlon. This is most easily available uh, in, in our places. So, uh, so you understood, right? First is the thermals. Then we have a t-shirt. And then you are going to wear a Please, right? It's uh, uh, 40 degrees in Hyderabad <laughs> and I'm wearing a fleece, okay? So <laughs> now this fleece, uh, you see, I have I bought it with a front zipper because, you know, sometimes fleece, you will also get like, like a pullover. But it's good to get with a zipper because when you feel hot, you can just unzip. And this is good enough. See, this is a good enough uh, for like a moderate sunlight and a wind it's good okay and as i said you need two layers of pant now uh, 
this is a quick dry, dry, dry pant. Okay, you need two of them. Two is good. One you keep it. So here, these are also very stretchable, right? See, you you, uh, you know, you have this kind of thing uh, at the end to tie on your feet. So it's very very comfortable. And you know, when you are like uh, like stretching your feet, right? It's it's good. You know, it 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 can help. So this these are the two main layers I will be wearing throughout this is this is my attire throughout okay this pant jacket and my inner thermal with a t-shirt okay if i feel too hot i'm going to open this also and probably i'll be with my t-shirt and thermal not to uh, remove thermal ever you'll you know the wind is very chilly and sometimes we this portion we have to cover friends these are the portion we need to cover and they say don't cover your ears ears needs to be open so anyway so you understood this is this goes as a pant and this is the fleece layer and on top of this goes your down jacket so this is the down jacket okay now um, whoever uh, you are going with will be providing you with a down jacket you need not buy it generally you know they will give you a down jacket and a cap okay so just to show you, after this goes my down jacket. So how many layers I have? I have the uh, thermal, then I have a t-shirt, then I have a fleece, then I have a down jacket. Okay, like at least four, five layers. We If we wear, it's good. And on the pants, I have a um, inner layer and I have I have like a flexible pant, which I showed you. Okay, now. This is where it is, you know, you need to co cover this. Um, generally, I, I don't like to wear like a woolen thing, but you can wear a woolen cap also. It's good to wear a woolen cap. And I, I will show you something very nice. I could not find um, the good ones, but I have something to show you so that. So these are very useful, you know. Uh, I have some good quality I couldn't find today, but. Uh, this is very important there. Why? Because the wind is going to go inside, you know, wherever it finds a little thing, it will go inside. So this is how you wear it. Uh, generally, I do this. You can wear it in a multiple way. So you put it in your neck and like this, and you, you close yourself, right? So you're locked and you get closed and then you put a cap, okay? So this is if because then you know the nose gets very cold. Huh? So this is what I do. And sometimes if I have to breathe, I also do that. It's very good also that it's kind of like a mask for you. So this is how it is. Okay. Now after this, you have to also look for a good Polaroid uh, uh, spectacle. Now you don't need uh, you know very expensive Polaroid and nothing. Uh, I have this uh, just a normal sunglass, but it's quite dark. Okay, it's quite dark, and because the lights are very, uh, you know, it it it's going to uh, sometimes uh, on the snow it reflects and it really hurts the eyes. So you need a very good pair of sunglasses. Very very important sunglass. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Um, I'm just going to put everything back because it's like very hot <laughs> okay so you know this this is how uh, we are thinking here i am in hyderabad so but it it's there it's very very different right like uh, we really need warm clothing there and proper clothing is required otherwise there is a way you can catch cold any anywhere it's leaking you need to see where you are you are catching the cold okay now these are the gloves so I, I I I bought these. Uh, it's very light, okay. They are, so I have two pairs of gloves. One is a, a a little bigger one. It has a woolen thing, but these are like normal ones. You see, like okay. And uh, I'm going to do one thing I, before I was taking. I'm going to think. I was thinking. This is a tip, okay. On the finger, you can just cut it. Just cut the 
first finger. You know why? Because most of the time you'll be requiring your phone <laughs> you'll, and you can't put your phone with this. So if you cut the fingertip, you have your finger out and you can use it on your phone very easily. So that way, this is the gloves. And um, so I showed you about how to pack your uh, neck, uh, head, eyes. Uh, and uh, friends, use a good uh, sunscreen. Uh, I think, what is it? Uh, PF, let me just tell you, it's PF. Uh, Uh, okay, I am not uh, remembering actually uh, what it is, but uh, it was some something like to do with uh, the sunscreen. Okay, it is some PF thirty plus or fifty plus because uh, if the sun is very harsh and it it can really burn your skin, so good. Sunscreen is a good, you know, and you need to put Vaseline on your lips because the lips will start getting dry very fast. So that's for the skin. You can uh, apply some moisturizer in your hand and, uh, you know, sunscreen. Sunscreen also, you can put it in your hand. Otherwise, there's only the hand and the face is little exposed. Otherwise, you are covered, right? So those are the things that you need to take care. Okay. Now, I'm coming now to the very important part, which is the shoes, which I have been talking uh, earlier also. I did not bring my shoes because it's very dirty, but I'm going to show you what shoe uh, I am talking here. Yeah, socks, I'll, I'll talk about, sir. So this is my shoe. Uh, okay, I did a water test on it. And uh, you see the ankle of the shoe, is it's an ankle shoe. There is an ankle support. So sometimes when you are going up and down, the ankle support is very important, right, for the shoe. Uh, and uh, I tested it through uh, overnight, put it on the water, but uh, there was no water leakage. So that's a good thing. Okay. So this is uh, how the shoe looks like. Uh, this is, a, this is a, a pretty good shoe. And it's very good that you can, if, if you have an old shoe, it's very good. Okay. Because a, a new shoe, don't wear a new shoe in a new terrain, right? Don't, uh, again, you know, um, I did a mistake. The, the earlier time I went with a boot and it's a, it was an expensive boot and it was very heavy. So don't we don't require those kind of heavy boots. We just require something that will, uh, uh, you know, which is lighter. And I, I'll tell you one more trick also today. Hear me out. This is especially for Kailash Mansarovar because Kailash Mansarovar is very different than any, any other trek. Go for socks, you know, have more socks uh, for yourself in, in your uh, thing. Maybe uh, uh, two, three sets of so socks. And you can wear your own sneakers there. Okay. Walk in the sneakers. It's very good, actually. Many people I have, I have seen, they don't wear boots and all. They are just clever. You know, they wear sneakers and walk. It's very comfortable because, see... It's very hard to walk there because of the altitude. And if you have big boots, it becomes very, very, uh, you know, more heavier. So have two, three socks with you. Now, once your socks get wet, for some reason, the socks gets wet, right? What you will do is, I don't know, I kept a cover here. Ah, here is my cover. Just to show you, you can, uh, because your sneakers are wet now, what you can do is put out your uh, sneakers, put out your socks. Wear a new sock, okay? Like, for example, this is my feet. Wear a new sock. On top of that, put a polythene. Okay? Like this. And then slide in your sneaker again. You got it? This is the trick. So, you know, a normal sneaker would also go. Only problem, uh, why we say you need a very good shoe, because people who are trekking, um, for the Parikrama, the second day, Dolmala Pass, there are rocky mountains. Only for people who wish to trek, you know, most of them either will uh, you want a horse or something. But if you are trekking, then you need this good shoe, I would suggest, because there are boulders and you 
where your leg is going inside you can't see so it's quite deep that way okay so make sure you have a good shoe that gives you an ankle support because climbing you need an ankle support more ankle support you need when you are walking down so you have to walk down 6 km up and 6 km down so that's what uh the shoe part is you know because shoe is very important and best is that you start wearing your shoe and start walking whatever you know 2 km to 5 km 10 km however it is you start walking okay so this is the entire clothing and this is layering i, I hope it's clear i'm going to take questions also you can keep typing questions i'll be um taking the question when and when i get time all right so apart from that what else do you need to know see on mountains don't overpack i did lot of overpacking and you know what happens you get to kathmandu and you have to drop all your suitcase and luggages yes so you can take whatever you want but you have to be minimalistic hear me out minimalistic when you are going for a trek because your especially when would you need that in the parikrama so parikrama you have to carry very light right so in the parikrama also i would suggest you don't need to take anything just your small little bag maybe you will have your camera or uh, you know i i use this um, power bank which is very important there is no power so i i carry a power bank and then uh, i have my snacks so i'm going to talk about snacks also um and uh, just this that and very important is a hot bottle this is very very important so i suggest that you carry this uh, this is a milton bottle uh, it works very good for me okay 1 liter bottle and also a plastic bottle plastic bottle in the way if you want to fetch some uh, fresh water and drink so you have that but generally it's very chilled right so you may want to mix it with your warm water and drink it this is this is medicine because you have to keep taking lot of water because this oxygen in the water so you want to keep sipping water right so this is very important okay so yeah i was talking about uh, overpacking um i will tell you what exactly you require uh, i will and i will put put a list also so don't worry you won't miss out anything i'll put a list down uh, this recording it's on youtube and you will get all the list so generally what you do is uh, you will um, offload your bag in kathmandu and they will give you some duffel bags because those are the bags that are easier to carry because your sherpas are going to carry the big bags right so uh, they are uh, they are water dry they dry very quickly and uh, you know you have a small bag pack and in the small bag pack i told you what are the things and one more thing i missed is your um what is that uh i am just searching for my raincoat here anyway i didn't put my raincoat i yeah i did okay here's the raincoat okay so you if in case it rains you have your raincoat you have your uh, small munchies in munching you can go for chocolates dry fruits that's what i prefer uh, not to get, go into some masala things or something that gives you strength that time is important so eat eat a healthy you know the more healthy at the we eat it's better so just a one um, almond you can uh, munch or dates or you know a chocolate walnut you know these are the things so um, and i will keep my um, jacket like the in case there is rain i have my extra pair of socks uh, and um, if you want to carry a sneaker and they with, with a uh, don't carry boots okay that's what i'm wanting to say so these are the things now <clears throat> so we drop the luggage in kathmandu and uh, one thing is uh, people are asking me where do i do the shopping as i said i did it in decathlon but also you can go to kathmandu the, the thamel market you get it very cheap there so you can do that uh, woolen caps you can wear uh, down jackets you will get from the company shoes you have to buy uh, and trekking sticks generally you know the company you are traveling may give you trekking sticks but it may not suit you okay so have good i, I would say two sticks especially if you are planning to walk they those are those are really very helpful while trekking okay 
and nowadays they will give you small oxygen cylinder it comes like a uh, you have seen the heat spray like small bottles it will come 100 grams you can put it in your bag and you have your oxygen whenever you require <clears throat> i showed you about layering of clothes okay uh clothing list so uh clothing is six sets okay uh, don't carry any kind of sarees or dhotis you won't require it i showed you what kind of wearing is required there right so these are the things so maybe two pairs of thermal you can carry uh, maybe um, two to four uh, two to three t-shirts and you have your fleece jacket your down jacket so like that okay thermal uh, wear is very important right so maybe two sets you can carry um, you can carry a hat also because sometimes it gets really hot so I, I didn't put a hat, but I have a cap generally. So quick dry pants, uh, gloves, one pair is okay. Uh, woolen clothing, cap, scarf, uh, socks. Uh, you can go for three to four pair of socks. Um, and uh, sports handle you can use or like a kind of chappals and you know, your own toiletries and all, you can go for that. Now, uh, Snacks I have covered, packing, I, I already told you. Uh, don't uh, pack or, you know, some kind of, like, okay, you can pack a book or something which you are going to use up till Kathmandu. But af af after Kathmandu, you won't be requiring a book or anything. You might have your uh, music system, like uh, you can put your earphone, your phone, all these things, you know, you won't be requiring more than that. So, as I said, be minimalistic, like minimal, you know, uh, how we can have guzara karne ke liye jo chahiye, you know, that's what you would require. Okay, now altitude, um, altitude mastery. How can we go for uh, what do you need to do to beat altitude? One thing is, as I said, this, this is very important keep sipping water, and they will be providing you hot, warm water. So, uh, you, you will be filling hot water sometime and just keep sipping, and uh, that's it. This is one very good way to uh, avoid altitude. Second way is do not start going very fast uh, or, you know, run or do some, start doing some exercises when you are in high altitude. Never do that. Okay. Do a, your exercise now. <laughs> Don't do it there. That's not the place to do exercise. That's a place to do meditation, not much body movement. So walk very slow, right? So one of my friend has given me a, a, a trick. I don't know if it will work for you, but he said, when you are climbing steep, so you go for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, for example. Or maybe 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then you breathe. 1, 2, 3, 4. Stop and breathe, okay? Again, you go 1, 2, 3, 4. Again, stop and breathe. 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? So this way, you will be going in a pace that is easy. Okay, now, so this is the second tip for altitude. Uh, third is, uh, um, though I say it's optional, but, uh, it, you know, it is better to take a uh, Diamox, the Diamox pill. Uh, I also bought a Diamox for me to test it. Uh, go to a chemist, buy a Diamox and test it in your house. Like, a day or two, half Diamox, see what happens to your body so that you don't panic when you take, oh, I'll take Diamox or not and all that. It's nothing. Okay. So test it in your house, how you feel with a Diamox pill, half a tablet, one or two days you try, nothing more will happen. More urination happens with a Diamox tablet. Okay. If you are prone to Diamox, you can go for cocoa, which is a homeopathic alternative, right? But many Many people say it works for them. It does not work for them. Another thing to beat altitude is to get a uh, karpuram sack. You know, take good karpuram, and uh, you can just put a pouch here, put the karpuram, and uh, put like a necklace, and it would be hanging here, right? Whenever you are feeling nausea or you know you have like something in your head, you smell that karpur. It's the best way to beat altitude right very good way right apart from that at home please do pranayam 
यू नो अनुलोम विलोम कपाल भाती प्राणायाम और इफ यू नो ब्रेथ वर्क ब्रेथ वर्क इज वेरी गुड राइट और वी आर प्रैक्टिसिंग ची गोंग एवरी वीक वी आर गोइंग फॉर ची गोंग एक्सरसाइजेज टू एक्सपैंड आवर लंग कैपेसिटी राइट सो दीज आर गुड वेज टू बीट ऑल्टीट्यूड नाउ for kailash mansarovar especially i want to say it's not a trekking expedition no right it's not that other ebc everest base camp and or they are much tougher trust me than kailash mansarovar kailash mansarovar if you want you you have an option to do trekking or not so it is optional you can take a ghoda and uh, you know i think most of the people if they want to do the parikrama they say that you take a ghoda okay and if you feel very strong you just go to mansarovar and see how you feel like if you can really walk then great just take two sticks i told you how to wear how to walk go very slow and your team never you know go just look for your members where they are be with people around don't just start going on your own you know you or you see some nice thing uh, somewhere and you get deluded and you go leave the group don't do that be with your sherpas be with your team guides right and not to take any pills just popping pills you have a bag in your bag you have pop don't do that uh, discuss with your team lead that see this is what i am feeling can i take this pill or not they might give you better suggestion right so and also very important to disclose your health condition with the team that you are traveling with many people they hide their problems you know they oh I, I, they don't share properly their health condition don't do that be transparent whatever it is see uh, if it's not very extreme no doctor will tell you don't go there if you have extreme problems like extreme sugar level extreme bp you have to uh pull it down to normal okay so these are the things friends i will be taking question answers now already see there are some okay underwear okay underwear and thermals uh for underwear um see uh one option which i can tell you there is something called use and throw th- uh, underwear nowadays you get it in amazon for women men both so they are just uh, very soft uh, you have to see the material you know uh, i leave it up to you you can buy use and throw underwear it's very useful there because you you know you will have a fresh piece every day with you you don't have to uh, you know uh, dry it or you know wash it or something right so it's it's handy that way otherwise if you want to take your underwear yeah maybe four to six underwear i would say insect repellent uh, i don't think you would need insect repellent in kailash mansarovar no it is not required you won't get mosquitoes no insects there okay toothbrush uh, yeah toothbrush paste yes your uh, normal toiletry that you would be using every day that you have to take uh, but you don't um, see you you um, you can take your soaps and all uh, soaps and maybe i remember in darchen i got one bath every place like uh, we are traveling from kairun kairun you can take a bath uh, a cyber base i mean sorry cyber base is the first you take a bath there kairun you can take a bath there saga you can take a bath there darchen even when where kailash is you can also take a bath there also mansarovar so we, we mansarovar also you are going to take a bath okay generally for women what they do is they will put a tent and they will bring water in the bucket for the women to have a bath there men they go in in inside they will have you know dubki dubki laga ke karna hai for men so uh, there also uh, you need to think like that you know what you are going to wear after that but don't carry lot of things because i did carry a lot of things and i didn't use it so be very minimal from where to get the sticks amazon all things are available amazon or you go to uh, decathlon if you have a decathlon near your house go there tissue rolls for toilets yes sir this is uh, important i forgot about it please have tissue rolls for toilet very important 
mobile signals work very well there. No problem. You get full network. If you want an international roaming, I would suggest take a 10 days international roaming. It costs around 2,500 to 3,500. It will work in China for 10 days. You will have uh, good GB and phone calls. You can take that. Signal is superb there. No problem. Uh, Parikrama is around the lake or mountain. Parikrama around the lake, your vehicle will take you around the lake. Parikrama around the mountain, you have to go with a either with a horse or walking. Okay. We can shave there. Yeah, you can shave there. But uh, <laughs> I don't know. Personally, I don't have all the strength to do, you know, take my toiletry and shave and because you don't get the time very early morning you have to leave and then you go to bed and then you're mostly tired but yes the answer is yes you can shave for bath you get yes absolutely for bath you get warm water we can't take bath in cold water only freezing water you will have a bath in Mansarovar. so that's also a very beautiful experience okay friends so i think i have covered mostly um uh, let me just look around because I put everything today here. All my clothes. I showed you uh, everything else. Let me see if there is anything that I have to tell you. So friends, medication, medication also, there is a checklist. I will put a, a medication checklist also. You will find um, medical tests. Many people are uh, asking. But see, if you are 50 plus, 60 plus, please do your blood sugar, blood pressure. Please do it now for your own sake. Right, people like 35 40. I won't suggest you know if you are in good health, uh, no, no, no need. But if you have some problem, please do your test. Right, it's good. Food already, I told you, uh, list uh, you know the snacks that you can carry. You can carry um, something that is more healthy. That's my understanding. Many people carry uh, thepla and all that, you know, some snacks. Uh, uh, like um, what to say mixture and all that but I don't suggest for high altitude you know having something fried you know you need to give your stomach something that gives instant energy so think like that when you are talking about food accommodation is good I, I told you earlier it's a uh, all three to four star hotels you will be getting so it's pretty good but Mansarovar and Kailash it's very very uh, nominal a subsidy, uh, you know, yeah, uh, for every state, there is a uh, uh, subsidy, subsidy, right? And you have to look in the on the net and according to whichever place you are based in, you have to look for uh, Kailash Mansarovar subsidy and you will be getting one certificate after you uh, finish the Parikrama. That certificate, I think you have to submit to the subsidy and you will be getting uh, money from the government. You can apply for subsidy. Currency, um, currency is yuan in China, so you have to carry. Uh, I think I carried around um, like fifty thousand, I think sixty thousand in cash. Uh, in Nepal, you can use um, Indian rupees, hundred rupees, just hundred rupees, not five hundred or two thousand. They don't, but hundred rupees notes you can use in Nepal. And for China, you have to carry yuan. So you have to convert around, um, let's say, around uh, 40, 50,000 yuan, convert it and keep it with you. This is for you if you need something uh, in the China side, right? If you go for uh, a horse, maybe, you know, they, they would charge around uh, 2,500 to 3,000 yuan. I don't know the exact rate. You will get to know when you when we are there because it's, it's, uh, decided by the community everybody pays the same rate so it's same for everyone right so that's what it is documentation is nothing but you just need to uh, uh, submit your passport and uh, we are collecting 50 percent um, of the entire cost so that we have starting the visa process right so if you want to go with our group uh, we as you know our group we are traveling on the 27th of july okay and uh, we are coming back on 9th of August. So we have a really pretty uh, big tour. Uh, some people say it's more da dates. More the date, the better the journey. Remember that. It's shorter the days, the journey becomes very, you know, uh, fast. So our group is a special group. We are going for Charan Sparsh. 
we have kept one day for channels first friends you, if you uh, talk to other agencies uh, or even i have done that earlier they will say that okay no problem you go to dirapur do the charan sparsh and then you start the parikrama it does not happen like that charan sparsh is very different it's very steep 4 to 6 kilo, 4 to 5 hours you will take to go up and then you take another 2 to 3 hours to come down so you need full one day for charan sparsh being in dirapur charan sparsh has to be one day and for us our team we are staying two days in mansarovar because we want to uh, meditate in the night see the lights two days in mansarovar two days extra we are you know one day extra we are staying in mansarovar one day extra we are staying in dirapur for our team to go into places meditate in the power spot all these things are there okay so if you uh, want to join our group you can uh, send you know your passport to us and uh, we would need uh, uh, to submit them because uh, it groups like it comes like a group visa now one person was asking that do we have to go to delhi for a fingerprint now that is that we, that is still coming uh, the answer as of now is no you, we don't have to go but the actual decision has not come so we are waiting for that decent toilets uh, nowadays they have these chemical toilet installed right um especially men and women they i think for both but for men generally it's outdoor is better uh, for women now, i i heard there are toilets everywhere place so i'm hoping they would be good i have not seen it with my eyes uh muscle sprays yeah muscle oil sir you can take muscle spray and muscle oil is fine yes uh, we can apply now also vipin ji we can, you can apply now also if somebody wants to go because the uh, visa process is going on and um, once the visa comes it comes like a group visa okay all the names would be there that's the reason everything has to go at one go right so that's what it is any any other thing that i missed you can write to me and uh, we will be if you are in our group we are meeting every week uh, for question answers so that also would be there uh, our minimum size is sir uh, up till now we are keeping it uh, low 15 to 20 only we are not going very big group so just like minded people who are meditators who has a intention to meditate there right um, 15 to 20 people as of now that's the group size okay friends so i hope uh, it was helpful if any questions are there yes sir thank you thank you so ping me any time and i'll be happy to help you with any questions okay friends thank you om namah shivaya may you all have a great great yatra bye sir bye asha ji bye amrita vipin bye bye